Hello guys! I am Lilia Nikolaevna Pabaroznik, an English teacher at Odessa Gymnasium No. 7. And today I am very pleased to be your English teacher. So please prepare your English language textbook by Oksana Karpuk, 2018 edition. In today's lesson, we will work with this textbook beginning from page 117. Look at this slide. You can see a few objects that indicate the topic of our today's lesson. Please think and guess the topic of our lesson. Yes, you are absolutely right. We are going to talk about computers and we will study phrasal verbs related to computers at the same time. Created in the 1950s, computers have had an important impact on our society. The way we do business, the way we communicate, and the way we learn. I'm convinced that a computer is one of your favorite items after your mobile phones. Take a few minutes to answer the questions you see on this slide. What type of computer have you got? How much time do you spend at your computer? Have you got access to the internet? How often do you use the internet? What do you usually search the internet for? Do your parents use a computer? You can check if you answered these questions correctly using the next slide. Here are some examples of answers you could provide to the questions on the previous slide. For example, to the question, how much time do you spend at your computer? You could say, it depends on my needs. If I'm preparing for a project, I spend about two or three hours at the computer. Please review the answers to the rest of the questions. Look at this word map. It shows different verbs that can be used with the word file. For example, you can say save a file or you can say rename a file. Complete the other combinations of the verbs you see on this slide and the word file. Look up the translation of these verbs if you don't know them. There are many specific words associated with a computer. Look at the list of these words. Click, menu, cursor, icon, word processor. Translate these words into your native language using the Tech Terms Computer Dictionary. And now, complete the sentences with these words. To check if you completed these sentences correctly, Use the keys to this exercise that you can see below. Pause the presentation and read these sentences about different computer files. The words highlighted in blue, such as can be written, may be designed, are examples of how to use passive with modal verbs. We use the passive when the action is more important than the person who performs it. We use the verb be in the appropriate tense and the verb in past participle. For example, can be written, may be designed, may be recorded, may be modified, may be copied. Answer the following questions using passive with modal verbs. 
Where can be information written? What may be a file designed for? How many types of files can be stored at once? What can we do with a computer file using computer programs? What can be done with computer files many times? Here are the answers to the questions on the previous slide. Information can be written to a computer file as words can be written on paper. A file may be designed to store a picture, a written message, a video, a computer program, or a wide variety of other kinds of data. Different types of information can be stored at once. We can open, read, change, save, and close a computer file using computer programs. Computer files may be reopened, modified, and copied an arbitrary number of times. Now let's learn about phrasal verbs. A phrasal verb is a combination of two or three words from different grammatical categories. A verb and a particle, such as an adverb or a preposition. For example, eat out, come back, go out, hang on to, log on, log in, scroll up. Watch a video about phrasal verbs. Now that you know what phrasal verbs are, pause the lesson on this slide and read these sentences. Guess the meaning of phrasal verbs in bold. In this exercise, match phrasal verbs, hack into, log on, log in, scroll up, log off, log out, pick up, back up, and zoom in with their definitions. You can find the keys to this exercise at the end of the slide. In this exercise, complete each sentence with the appropriate phrase. Download a file, upload a file, post a message. To help you complete this exercise, here are the definitions of these phrases. Download a file means to take a file from another location. Upload a file means to transfer a file from a computer to another location. Post a message means to send a message to a news group. You can find the keys to this exercise at the end of this slide. Dear students, I hope this lesson has been useful for you. Thank you for your hard work during this lesson. Until next time.